Welcome back guys, um, this is um, uh, one of the other projects that I have made for Patricia and this is an altered canvas, um, it's actually a quite large um, canvas, this is like an A4 size of equivalent I think or maybe slightly larger than A4, let me just quickly measure it Yep, it's A4 size. <laughs> Sorry, I should have done that beforehand. Uh, it's so gorgeous. I made this um, vintage style. And um, the reason why I decided to alter this um, canvas was this beautiful image that I found on Etsy. It's so, so beautiful. I actually purchased this image uh, some time ago, but I haven't come around to... Um, using it and I've uh, mentioned to the shop owner that once I do complete um, a project using his image that I will share with him also so I've been waiting to upload this vid first before I contact him and let him know that he could come in and see this beautiful project that I have used using his image so it's so beautiful isn't it it's a vintage um, dressmaker image um, with this beautiful pair of scissors and this gorgeous dress form and all these Paris words and French Parisian inspired words and it's um, the background has these beautiful roses and a birdie up here also so it's so super gorgeous anybody want to link to this beautiful image here message me and I'll um, pass you guys the, um, the seller's uh, details and you guys can go and purchase this beautiful image um, because you can resize it and make tags and things out of it also, which I'm yet to do also. So I've, once I've um, adhered, I've actually printed this not on paper. I've actually printed onto cotton transfer paper and peeled the backing off. And then I've hot glued it down. It's not iron on paper. It's actually transfer paper. So I uh, used my inject printer to print this out. And then I've um, hot glued the edges down and also in some random places so it's adhered properly. And then from there, I went to embellishing um, this beautiful canvas and on the side here I've tea dyed this beautiful lace as well as um, this gorgeous uh, crochet doily that I have chopped the edges off and staggered it across this particular side and along the bottom here along the bottom and then on the, just this corner on this side here I've just um, randomly cut an edge of a piece of lace fabric and that's got some nice rough stitches in there also and just make the edges a rough cut so it's really tattered and up here I added this beautiful um, just trying to get in frame this beautiful uh, crochet flower that I've added uh, this bling bling buckle and pearl center some gorgeous iron roses leaves up here and added this beautiful um, pearl trim from my stash all the way across there and then I went on to embellishing it with goodies from my stash. I love this flower here. This is from a bouquet that I've purchased. This one here, it's so gorgeous. You guys know I love this beautiful, this particular bouquet of flowers. It's in my favorite color, which is peachy pink. And I've just taken this out of um, the backings here, taken all this off and taken all the little pop pop-up inserts that comes with it so that it's more um, open up like this so it's not so you know like that look it's more open like that and I've layered them and then I've added the same buckle slider with the pearl center in the middle there um, the pearl center is from SA Crafter there and SA Crafter there um, and then I've used some um, gardenias from Iron Roses here also which I've separated the two different colored leaves, uh, colored petals sorry and then staggered them together and added this beautiful center in the middle um, made this beautiful pearl um, embellishment here following Fiona who is um, Jenny644 on YouTube following her tutorial on how to make that so that's uh, gorgeous and this beautiful trellis roses from I think I think it's Iron Roses I think it's Iron Roses that one not from Wok I didn't purchase any pale that's just like a pale cream or ivory color which I've went over with um, I can't remember what I sprayed that with Lindy's it's a Lindy's um, cockle bell coral I think not cockle bell coral that's not even a gold color eh? I can't even remember what color I used on that <laughs> I do apologize guys but it's guys but it's like a, a shimmering gold color there and I've distressed some edges with um, uh, vintage photos also it was quite some time ago which I've altered this rose and I've just um, adhered that onto the project beautiful put this beautiful metal butterfly um, charm at the back there it's actually quite a nice um, big one made a stick pin pop that in here two little um, rose buds here from iron roses which I have um, 
uh, used my distressing ink to go over the top to make it really vintage. -y. Some more of those autumn cutted leaves down here and over here, and some more rose buds here also. Down here, I've just dangled some little charms, which you guys know I love doing. That I had in my stash, a little bobble and a little um, bird cage there, and a butterfly metal butterfly charm right there. So that's that corner. Isn't it beautiful? Love staggering and layering. And on this side I've used a um, one of those uh, metal plates and I've used an Adosh ticket that says Dream and I've distressed and crunched it all up and then I adhere it to the bag. On the side here I've dangled a little teapot charm and a little Eiffel Tower charm here also from my stash. Made a beautiful seam binding as well as lace bow here and added this beautiful um, cherry blossom from Iron Roses right there also and I staggered some lace at the very far back here down the bottom here also and at the very top I've punched two holes using my crop crocodile right here and on the other side and I just looped some uh, lace or not lace I think it's just some the edge of some fabric um, just edging from some fabric that looks like really torn and tattered as my tie um, at the very top there so Patricia can hang it up in her craft room and at the back here I've just used some music notes from um, I think this is the My Mind's Eye and Pepper collection that Rosella has sent to me also. Hi Rosella. Um, added that here so she can put some it's double sided so it's nicely finished so you can add some more photos if you like at the back here also Patricia. It's so pretty. So I hope you like this project and I'll be right back to share with you guys um, the final project that I have made for Patricia. Sorry about that guys. I didn't have everything ready on hand. Um, that's why I keep going on and off. So this is the final project that I have made for Patricia and it's so so super gorgeous if you guys remember that beautiful um, cushion that I made a while ago let me grab that cushion uh, this cu this particular cushion here do you guys remember this particular fabric let me try and zoom out so you guys can try and see there you, see, you remember this particular fabric well I've used the same fabric to make this little um, jewelry holder for Patricia Hope you like it Patricia because I had so much fun making this and it's so gorgeous. I don't ever own anything like this and you're getting it. Uh, I usually keep my originals and, and make one for um, whoever I'm swapping with. But I have so little time and I made this like, it didn't take long to make this. I think 30 minutes or an hour at the most. But um, I probably don't even have time to make another one for myself. And um, it's just so beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? I used some real vintage laces down here from my stash that I found at the thrift shop. And I've been hoarding this forever. But I thought, you know, you're so precious, Patricia, that, you know, you're so deserving of ha having some of this beautiful, beautiful vintage lace. So I've ha add, um, add that onto here. Uh, this particular... Uh, jewelry roll as they call it. Um, it's actually made from three layers of um, fabric. I've used this particular fabric um, from a recycled table runner I think this is. I can't remember what it is but it had this beautiful bluey mint green background and then it had these beautiful vintage like roses on it and this this particular cut in the fabric was just perfect because the back of it had this beautiful image there and then the front's very soft and subtle, so which doesn't draw um, attention from the focal point, which is these three um, roses that I have um, all stitched on the front here, all hand stitched. Um, the roll, the jewelry roll itself is machine stitched, but then um, to adhere the fabric, um, this lace onto the fabric, um, as well as this trim, it's all hand stitched. So you're very, very fortunate because I don't have any any time to do hand stitching and um, I was able to um, incorporate that onto this project for you. It's made with lots and lots of love. Um, all this little rosette um, beading here or uh, using pearls. These are actually glass pearls from my stash. So it is quite heavy, this little um, jewelry roll. And I've added some gorgeous rhinestone from... Um, my stash that also and these are not glued they're all hand stitched on so a lot of stitching going on here and it's so beautiful do you like it Patricia because <laughs> if you don't I'm happy to keep it <laughs> um, I've just made a little tie down here using some beautiful vintage um, netting from my stash here and it opens by just pulling it so it opens up and then opens down up 
and then down so it's so gorgeous i feel it um i've started you off with filling it with beautiful little jewelry pieces that i have collected from buying um a diva as well as one of the newest shops that i've been to it's called louisa um which is one of my newest favorite stores here also in oz um and they have really really lovely jewelry also so i've i uh, went there just recently i think it was monday kind of remember now and purchased these and uh they're so beautiful but i'll get to those in a minute um i've made like this long sausage type of thing uh and then stuff it with my soft wadding and um and then i sewn it on both sides here like i mentioned this particular um jewelry roll is made out of three layers of fabric it's made from this beautiful um uh fabric here and then this beautiful vintage i think it's like more like an a napkin a vintage napkin that has these beautiful intricate um, details here it's all embroidered i think somebody must have hand embroidered this i don't think it's machine it's more like um a crochet type and it's so beautiful it's actually more beautiful in person i didn't want to cover the stitching because uh, i could have made pockets for you to put other things in it but i didn't want to cover this isn't that just so beautiful and so intricate and once you get it you will be able to see the details um just more in more details i mean it'll be so beautiful so i've used that and then this layer and then inside um between these two layers i've used calico like at the back here just to make it a bit more thicker and sturdier so it holds its shape a lot a lot more better and then i've added like i mentioned this beautiful necklace from louisa i've purchased two one for you and one for myself it has this beautiful pink cameo um this lovely uh, rose pink cambajon and this gorgeous thingy i don't even know what you call that blingy thingy some little dangles and bobbles a little bow there and the chain so beautiful and vintage inspired there also so that's one of the items that you'll be getting and you'll also be getting this beautiful little bracelet that i've purchased a while ago from diva i've got two of these so i can spare one and send it to you it's got lots of beautiful little charms and whatnots on it so lots of fun for you to play with you can wear it or you can put it on your altered arts it's so beautiful and i've also given you this beautiful little um ring from louisa i hope size medium is your size i didn't want to go too big or too small so i went with a size medium and it's so gorgeous it doesn't even fit me i've got big fat fingers but look at that it's so sparkly and bling my camera's just not doing it any justice but so pretty so that's coming your way too so that is the um last item that i will be sending your way and um once i've finally recorded this i'll be packing your um box hopefully find some time to pack your box i'll do some tonight and then the remainder of um, the rest of the days until monday and i'll have it posted out to you on monday so i'll message you also patricia to let you know if i don't upload this beforehand um, before monday then um, you'll probably see it on monday or the following day which is tuesday but it's so gorgeous i love it so much and i hope you like it also because it's coming your way and you're very fortunate because i don't even have anything like this in my stash and it's so pretty and i've never seen anybody embellish these beautiful rosettes like i have here before on youtube so i'm the first one and you're very fortunate because you're the first one to be getting an original work of art made by var love you patricia have a beautiful day guys see you all next time Bye bye